Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Palua's Thoughts. Thank you, everybody, for uh, watching my videos and stuff like that while I have been on the road and moving across the country. Today's topic is going to be about travel, traveling across the country. Some of my good, some of my bad. Um, I'm only going to make this video about five minutes long. Um, I'm going to do a series of, of uh, discussions. So, um, this is my first one. So, um, when I was in California, uh, we left around uh, April 28th. And the reason why I'm, I'm doing this so late is because of the nature of work. Everybody knows I do. And stuff that I mentioned and stuff like that. So, because I didn't want anybody knowing where I was at, when I was at, and all that stuff. So, so <clears throat> I was going to... Um, uh, I was going to actually uh, get paid movers and stuff like that. Well, there's this Facebook group called Leaving California and stuff like that. And there was a lot of really good, uh, reputable, bonded movers. But the horror stories that I kept write, reading and reading and reading and stuff like that were just really, really bad and stuff like that. No matter who it was, it just didn't matter and stuff. So, and the amount of money that it was going to be, it was going to be like seven to maybe 10 grand just to move, uh, myself, my family across the country. So I called U-Haul. I talked to Penske and I talked to budget and stuff like that. So I needed a car hauler as well too. Uh, U-Haul, uh, quoted me almost six to seven grand for a 16 foot truck but they couldn't guarantee and i put in a request and reservation a month and a half in advance and stuff and that was with a car hauler as well too so i started doing more research in regards to the u-haul and penske budget didn't have anything um, that was even close to what i um, and all that so i ruled them out U-Haul uh, and Penske were my two that I was looking at and stuff like that. So U-Haul, their fleet is older, not well maintained mechanically, and they're the go-to for everybody that wants to go to them and stuff. And I was reading a lot of bad things and stuff like that too as well. And so I started looking at Penske and their fleet was newer. The truck I got only had 15,000 miles on it um, and all that. I got a car hauler, which was brand new and stuff at the time. Uh, they just had brand new tires put on the truck um, and all that. And so, <clears throat> so they quoted me uh, $2,850 and I rented it for six days, seven days, I'm sorry, and um, to get across the country. So it was a 16 foot truck um, and all that. It was gasoline and um, they gave me ex two extra free days to turn it in and stuff. And I have to say, you know, I didn't need the two extra days and stuff like that. But traveling across the country with a, um, a full trailer and a vehicle on the back and stuff did very, very well and stuff. Um, Going across the country uh, in a Penske uh, only cost me about 800 bucks in fuel and all that. That's about estimate and stuff like that. I'm not, I put it all on my credit card, so I mean, it's not like I didn't have the cash to do it, but why spend your cash if you can just put it on the card and pay later, right? So um, I've got to say, the truck did wonderful and stuff like that. Um, I didn't have any problems. We did not leave across. Uh, I-40 between, um, shoot, what was it? Um, an area of Arizona, I can't remember what it was, but um, between that, it was I-40 um, at, oh man, I can't remember the darn city, but it was a road between there and uh, Flagstaff, which would take you up towards north to go to the south rim of the Grand Canyon. So I asked my kids if they wanted to go to the Grand Canyon. <clears throat> they said no. And my further research and stuff like that with regards to 
I-40 and some of the roads and how bad they were and all this stuff. <clears throat> I elected not to go along I-40 um, through uh, the rest of California and Arizona. Um, I did go down to, I left from Southern California on I-15 to I-40. Then I took, and we our first night we stayed in Lake Havasu and stuff because we have friends there and um, all that. Um, so we stayed there. And that was only about four hours and stuff. We did a really good time. We left about five o'clock, uh, California, and we left, uh, and we got there probably about nine thirty, ten o'clock, and stuff like that. So my kids had never seen Lake Havasu, and that was what they really wanted to do. So from there, we went south to I-10 the next day. Um, and so we, we went along the, we went and saw the London bridge and, and all that stuff. So once we got there, um, we, we were there until probably about noon and stuff. And so our next, uh, trip, uh, was another about 400 miles, uh, Southeast, uh, in a little town called Benson, Arizona. It's about 20 miles, uh, North of Tombstone. So uh, none of us in, the, in my family had seen Tombstone, and the kids were like, well, let's go to Tombstone instead. They're like, I don't want to go see a Grand Canyon. It's just a giant hole in the ground, you know? So, and because of the, the situation with I-40 and stuff, I didn't want to risk blowing tires and stuff like that because I was hearing too many horror stories about people blowing tires, couldn't get new replacements for two, three days, and stuff like that, you know? Even though I brought spares with me for my cars, stuff like that. I didn't have one for the truck, of course, but I have roadside assistance. But, um, so we stayed in Benson for about two days at this place, uh, called Comfort Inn. And, uh, it was a cute little, uh, hotel and stuff like that. You know, um, all the hotels that we stayed at were pretty, really nice. <clears throat> we got suites and stuff like that. Um, the prices were not too bad. They're about 150 bucks per uh, per location and stuff, we probably spent maybe about 11 or 1200 bucks in total in, um, uh, hotels along the way for seven days. And then like when we finally got to Ohio, um, our place wasn't ready until the 12th. So we had to stay in a hotel, a suite with a full kitchen for about a week and stuff like that. And that was only seven, 800 bucks and stuff like that. So, and I must say too, <clears throat> I have three dogs. One is an ESA, an emotional support dog. As you all know, I have, uh, um, I have a dog, a new dog, and stuff like that. That's for my PTSD, and um, so they um, they were very accommodating and stuff like that, um, and all that. Um, it was a little rough with the dogs and stuff. I won't lie, um, it it was rough. Um, not rough, rough, but they figured out after a few days what was going on and stuff like that. But um, on our fourth day, we got to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, we were kind of like in the heart of Albuquerque. It wasn't the greatest location and stuff like that. But, you know, we were only there for nights and stuff. Truck was secured. I actually used a, um, if anybody remembers the club's that came out back in the 90s and stuff like that. I left nothing in the cab at night and stuff like that. And all the locations, me and my wife scouted out each location, make sure that we could park the, the truck with the trailer and stuff like that. So it went really, really well. I, I, I can't really, I can't complain about any of it, to be honest. But um, from there, we left that night and we went to this little town called Shamrock, Texas. Is another four 400 miles east and stuff like that. Oh, and before I say this, going back to Benson, Arizona and stuff like that. So we went I-40 to, um, no, I'm sorry. We went uh, uh, I-10 all the way east till we went to Benson. And then we went uh, Benson, Arizona. We went uh, north I-25 to get back onto I-40. So I know we kind of went a little out of our way, but it's not a big deal. We made really, really good time and all that stuff. But what I've got to say, though, once we left New Mexico, the freeways were really, really 
smooth. I've got to say, California, Arizona, New Mexico, the roads are shit. No matter what. You've got to wonder what's going on. They're pocketing the money or something. You know what I'm saying? But, um, but I did notice and stuff like that, you know, the, uh, the differences in the freeways, the rest stops, and stuff like that. But getting back to this Shamrock, Texas, we stayed in this little town and stuff. And which is funny is, is that there's this uh, building in Shamrock and stuff. And if anybody has young children and you know the, the movie Cars and stuff like that, they utilized one of the buildings and this little town and stuff like that. And the picture will be in my uh, description uh, of the of the uh, of this episode and stuff like that. And um, it was really, really cool. It was all lit up at night and stuff. It had that um, very 1940s, 50s look, you know. And all that um, but it was really really cool place we stayed there overnight and stuff it was a really cute little uh, hotel and stuff I can't it was called the suites or something like that but it was a huge huge room it was only 98 bucks for the night and stuff like that so like some some and all that we we booked everything on Agoda and stuff like that I think I'm saying that right Agoda I think yeah and stuff like that so we had all our nights planned and ready to go and stuff like that so we didn't have to worry about much and stuff like that and it went smoothly and stuff like that um i didn't have any uh anything bad to really say about any of it so we left the next morning uh the next morning because we arrived at night so we knew about the the uh, the cars uh building and stuff like that and so in the morning I went and got gas. My kids and my wife went and took pictures and went over their little um, uh, souvenir shop and stuff. Got some um, some magnets and some stickers and uh, whatever else, you know, whatever. You know, it was kind of cool, you know, because every state we went to, we got a magnet and stuff like that. So we could put it on the refrigerator and stuff like that. So our next day um, was about Wednesday, Thursday by now. And we stopped in uh, Conway, Arkansas. That was another almost 500 miles. It was it was a hard drive that day, and stuff like that. But everything went really, really smoothly, and stuff like that. You know, it was very, very going across the country. I hadn't done this since I was a kid, and stuff like that. And um, I really, really enjoyed it and stuff. It was um, very interesting, um, and all that. But um, you know, nothing really. Uh, stood out in Conway. It was just a little town and stuff. The, it was right outside Arkan, uh, right outside uh, uh, the capital of Arkansas, uh, Little Rock and stuff like that. We didn't want to stay in Little Rock, so we stayed and all that. So we didn't want to do more miles, you know. So after that, we stayed in um, uh, a town outside of Nashville in uh, Franklin, Tennessee. And stuff and uh, going through Arkansas, Tennessee, um, and some and like Kentucky, and and then getting our final destination of, of Dayton and stuff like that um, was uh, it was very very green. It was very very cool. Um, all the truck stops, not truck stops, but the um, uh, the rest stops and stuff like that were really really cool. Uh, really very interesting and stuff like that. I'm going to I'm gonna do a separate episode about that too as well. But um, other than that, uh, Franklin was really cool. We wanted to stay in Nashville, you know, use the capital, you know, and stuff. Went through Memphis, of course, and stuff like that. Uh, we took I-40 all the way over until we hit Nashville, and then we went north. I think that's like 75 north and stuff like that, you know. I wanted to take the most flattest um, route too, as well when I when I did that as well. So, um, but other than that, um, I did bring uh, a lot of provisions and stuff like that, just in case anything happened along the way. Um, I also too want to mention too, if anybody's doing this and stuff like that. U-Haul and Penske want to encourage you to purchase their insurance. You don't have to. Your insurance covers collision 
and all you got to do is get a uh, a declaration from your insurance for them to um, give you a paper stating that you're covered under collision because that's another six to eight hundred eight six to eight hundred bucks and I didn't know that so um, other than that um, I'm gonna close it out here um, but I hope you enjoy it um, I'm gonna do some topics on um, you know this is more or less about like kind of the bad roads my my experience coming across the country and stuff like that um, I'm gonna go over some other things and things um, of what we and what and all that stuff but um, yeah like I'm gonna talk about some of the the rest stops uh, Texas were nice some not so much so so on and so forth um, and then I'm gonna also talk about why we left California what was going on uh, and all that but um, I appreciate you all for listening I'm sorry I was taking about 16 minutes over all I didn't want to keep it to that but uh, it is what it is so take care everybody thank you for listening and take care of yourselves bye